Yes. So another defense you can use, right, besides the crazy monkey, is something called the funny defense. Now, when, it, when somebody's saying something mean to you, like um, sometimes if you say something mean back, it can end up being like a fight, like punching each other and stuff. And, um, you know, I don't want it to be a fight. I want you guys to get into fights. That's not good. It's better to say something where, when she says something mean to me, instead of me saying something mean back, I'm just gonna say something funny. Now, it doesn't, it might not be funny, like it might not be like a joke funny, but it's something that like disarms her, takes away her weapon, right? So Caitlin, say something mean to me. It's just, hey, Kevin. <laughs> Look, look at your head. With your hair, you look like a pineapple head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so hungry for cantaloupe right now. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some at the store. You should go ahead and get some after this, Renee. <laughs> so it doesn't, it's, not, it's not like a joke, but you take it as a joke. Whatever she says to you becomes a joke. Yeah, no matter what she says, it's a joke. And even if it's super, really mean spirited, it could be super mean. If you take it as a joke, everybody will think it. The crowd will think it as a joke, and all of a sudden she looks really, like really up, up, like a really mean person. And nobody wants to be your friend after that, right? And if you can turn that social situation around completely, where up you were the victim, but now this person is the outcast. I mean, that's the ultimate win. That's the only way you can really win these type of things, anyway. If you punch him in the if I punch Caitlin, if she says something to me and I punched her, I'm gonna look like I'm crazy, right? I'm gonna look like I'm something's wrong with me. And so you never want to resort resort to physical unless like unless it's something where she's attacking me. Okay? Whatever is verbal when someone's talking to you, Dylan, you respond back with words. And make it into a joke. That's the next part. That's a little bit harder. Now it can be out of this world, like, you know, it can be whatever you want. It doesn't matter what you say back, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you have to make it funny to you. Does that make sense, Isaac? It has to be funny to you. Whatever you say, if it's funny to you, then it's funny. Yeah? You find it funny. Okay? I know it's a little hard concept, but I want to see. Try it. Same attacks, but this time you got to say something funny back. Something that's funny to you. That's really good. You got it. You nailed it. <laughs> Alright, let's watch Hey guys. Hey guys. You're gonna be the bully this time. And uh, Okay, so I want to multiple though, like uh, say like five of them, and Ken's gonna have to think up, think up responses on the fly. Okay. For five different things of life. I'm comfortable. Okay. Five different verbal attacks. He's like, you're a girl from Mars. But you know what? I'm actually a girl from Earth. <laughs> Go, Isaac. Kevin, why are your ears so small? Sorry, what? I can't hear you. My ears are too small. Why is your hair so long? You know what? It keeps me warm in the winter. It keeps me warm. Why is it so big? <laughs> <laughs> I was born, like, I won the big nose competition yesterday. Yeah. Okay. So, it, it, it doesn't have to be like a joke. You can just say something like weird, like what Kaylin did, right? Yeah. Okay. She was quick. One more time. Let's try it again. She was quick. Yeah. See, my ears are And there's bananas on my hair. Say, say, but I liked her. Yeah, you're not
see that. Oh, oh, that looks good. Oh, you Alright, I'm going to